Well, it's been a crazy couple of days of weather around here, but it's a gorgeous sunny day. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to show a new project that makes me feel like spring. It's another one that's been on the docket for the past few years and it's taken me a while to finish, but I just got it done enough that I can show everyone how it goes. But I thought it'd be good to show everyone, you know, something that you can do for the spring and make you feel a little bit more at home and comfortable, especially as we get to the time when it's getting warm, it's getting, you want to be outside, but social distancing is probably going to ruin some stuff for us. Specifically, I worry about golf season. And if you're like me, you don't necessarily addicted to it, but you like it, you want to get better, and I need the ability to practice and get things up to speed, so I built a little chipping area. Let me show you what it's all about. Now, of course, I realize that not everyone has, you know, enough yardage that they can build something. This isn't the biggest. It's just enough to work on my, you know, chipping game. So you can see a 10-yard marker there. Got a 25 there and a 50-yard marker up at the top of the yard. And since I'm hitting uphill, as my good friend and mogul's coach Jim Cask would tell me, it's probably a few yards longer than it actually is. So I've got an area to tee from and hit some chipping. And then I wanted to play to work on my sand game. So I got a little sand here. And I wanted to have something to scare me because I find that when there's an obstacle in the way, it helps me get in the mental framework that I need to be in. So I don't scare myself. So you can see this is maybe a few feet higher. So I do want to clear that those rocks right there where I'm not going very far. Got my club set up. Actually had a bucket of balls that I've been collecting over the years. Want a little table so I can write some notes about my game, how I'm, uh, my backstroke and, and all that to make sure I'm doing well. I had a little piece of this stuff here that I'm using as a rough. This, is, this better grass is good for chipping and practicing there. And then this is actually gonna be grass hopefully in the next few weeks. And so I'll be able to tee up for, uh, for my long game as well. So I dug the area out. And this actually goes down a few inches here. And I filled it with a few yards of sand. Just some cheap sand that I bought. You could probably do it in bags um, if, you, uh, if you bought enough. Rocks that I scavenged around. Sunk it down a little bit. I elevated. You can kind of see the, uh, the tee just to get a little bit of uh, aesthetic there. And this tarp has two purposes. I tucked it underneath the first layer of the rock wall. So as I'm driving, obviously I don't want the balls to hit the, uh, the stones there and bounce crazy. So if they do, the tarp should absorb most of the blow and they won't uh, hit that far. But there's also another use of it, because if you've ever played out of the sand, you know that all the sand is going to go up. I didn't want to get it on the yard too much, so I thought of that one as well. So as you can see, I took a little piece of some scrap wood there and attached it on the top so I can roll it into itself nice and easily. But as I chip out of here, all the sand that I hit up, most of it at least, should catch in the, uh, in the tarp. And I can dump it back down into the pit and rake it out. do need to get a rake though. Eventually, I think, remember where all that dead grass is? I think it's about the 40 yard mark. I'm going to put a, uh, a putting green up there, but that's a, a little ways off in another project I'll detail later. I'm not that long off the tee, but I've had this old net sitting around for a while. See, it's a little flimsy in the wind today. And I'm kind of hoping that it'll catch enough that uh, I can take a full drive you know, off this spot right here and be able to practice that at least. We'll see how that works out. I might need to rig up something bigger if need be. Well, uh, gotta figure that out after I either hit cars or a bulldog walking around in the field. So as we get ready for the season, I'm getting uh, teed up for it, getting ready. It's my first official swing. Hopefully everything goes really well. Better than 25. See everyone, Josh out.